Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome rear bathroom couples travel trailer from Grand Design. This is the 2021 Grand Design Imagine Model 2600 RB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this Grand Design Imagine 2600 RB. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. Hey, we kept you around. Yeah. Great job yeah, last time. Thanks. <laughs> How's it going? So far, so good. Beautiful weather here it up is. in Virginia. Yep. I was a little worried when, once we, I'm like, man, why do we start now when it's going to be cold up here? But it is beautiful weather. And I do want to give a shout out to the YouTube channel, Two Crazy Ketos. They just purchased one of these from me down in Florida, in Jacksonville, Florida, and they're starting a new YouTube channel called Two Crazy Campers. We'll have all their information down in the description below. Follow them. Joe and his family's great people and a great guy, and um, I'm excited to see their adventure in this travel trailer. Aren't you, Will? I am. Let's begin. Model is 2600 RB. But the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer hitch to bumper is 28 feet 9 inches. The dry weight on it is 6,182 pounds. And Will, the hitch weight? 594. 594, wonderful. Getting up front here, this is the Grand Design Imagine. This is one of their first units. It's not to be confused with that unit right there. That is an Imagine XLS. This is, the, they're two completely different products. Right here, we do have a nice power tongue jack to help get the travel trailer on and off your truck. Nice two 20 pound propane tanks right here. You can upgrade them to the 30s, and then you can put two batteries right there. We do have a nice fiberglass front cap right here. It's fully molded, you got the LED lights. You also have this black diamond plate rock guard right there. And I believe this is painted, and then this is a black dark home material. Coming down the side here, we do have nice pass-through storage, slam latch door, I love that. And look how big, look, look, look at this. It's big, it's spacious, I love the opening right there. And I love when they slam latch. I hate those stupid twist knob things. Manual stabilizing jacks, no problem with that. All you do is take a cordless drill, go zoom, 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 and you're done. Look at this, down almost the whole length of this motorhome, or this travel trailer is a nice power awning. Look, it even has an awning support right there, Will, uh, because this awning's so big, I love that. Right here, here's where you fill up your potable water. Potable, potable. Right here's coax and power if you wanna have a TV on the outside. And then you do have speakers right over there and there. Right here is your wheels. Look at these wheels, look at these tires. Lil, they are the uh, Super ST, ST225-75 R15. Nice tires right there, and there's your axles and everything. I love these solid steps right here. They are, this is one of the best creations for all RVs. And look, just in case you forget what you're in, you're in an Imagine. Coming down the side here, you do have a spray port. If you do want to have a grill on the outside or um like an outdoor shower coming around the back we have a nice bumper for a stinky slinky here's your water heater right there spare tire and spare tire carrier i love that and then right here will is a place for your 30 amp solar or a 30 amp power cord also we have a backup camera there also we're all gonna go up on the roof and check that out here we go now be careful. All right. Also, right up here, we do have a nice one-piece fully walkable TPO roof. It is prepped for solar right there. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. And then you do have a nice 
15K air conditioning unit. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Right here is a black tank flush. And so what that does is that will help clean your black tank in case any residue or sediment sticks to the side of it. Right there, look at that, I love that. This is where you hook up your black tank, black and gray tank right there. Hook it up right there, easy to dump, easy to get everything out of your way. And, yep, it all goes to that tank. And then look at this. Outdoor shower here, battery disconnect, potable water fill, city water connection, everything, cable, power, and everything's hooked up right there. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Check it out, Will. All right. Wow, this bathroom is really big. Very nice bathroom. Nice kitchen space, U-shaped dinette. And I love the finishes on this, on the cabinetry in the bedroom. All right, where do you want to start first, Will? I want to leave oh. that for last. Okay. Let's start up here in the bedroom. Okay. Up here in the bedroom. Sounds silly, y'all. Look how wide this door is. Very impressive, very big, very nice. Very nice, easy to walk around bed right here. Look at the European style cabinetry. I love it, Andrea loves it. Well, do you love it? I do, I just got done saying I love the finishes. Nice lights right there. I mean, I like the different colors. You have a little cubby on that side, a little cubby on that side. There you go. Very nice. Queen size bed. Actually, it's a pretty comfortable bed. It's sitting on it. We do have storage underneath. Oh, that's cool. Yep. And then check that out. Very nice. Two windows for cross ventilation. Then we do have your privacy blinds right there. Also, this is a nice pocket door to shut off to the rest of the living room area. Inside the living room area, Will, look at this. I don't want to call this a U-shaped dinette, but it's kind it of. Kind of is. It kind of is a U-shaped dinette here. Um, very, very narrow at the back. Yeah. Right. Maybe a kid. I don't know. Big table. I love the movable table. That way, we can push it this way. We can do it this way. Very nice. This does drop down to make a bed. The cushions help with that and everything. Big windows around here. It is super nice. LED lights and everything. And then look at this window. It opens up sideways for some nice cross breeze and ventilation. And then over here in the kitchen area, have a flip up countertop table there. Nice big rectangular sink here, Will. Look at how big and nice that is. That is nice. Very nice. I mean, it's crazy that we're in a travel trailer because there's a lot of there high is. features. Yeah. And it's not a giant travel trailer either. Nope. And what I like about it is that it is truly under 30 feet. Yeah. Tip to tip, you know. Yep. People call it a 26 footer, but. You know what I'm saying. Got some storage down there. Right here. It's not a solid surface countertop. What's but the bottom one? That's like a big. Oh yeah. It's not a solid surface countertop, but it's not like a laminate. Uh, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, and then they have these wooden things for like pots and pans to make sure that they don't slide around. Yep. I like that. And then here, little microwave. 
It's okay. We got a nice Furion three burner cooktop. And a Furion oven. And then over here is your Dometic refrigerator. It is a two-way fridge. It does run off both propane and electric. Well, well, it's now time for the MSRP. Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> I don't like that at the end. MSRP on this travel trailer here is... $37,130 MSRP. Sale price, be, you guys can see right here, because it is current model year, we do not have an advertised sale price on this unit. But don't worry, nobody's paying MSRP. Not if you give me a call. Will, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or go to mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Well, that's my email. Or go to mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Hopefully it will RV Review sticker. Bong! And um, there's also a contact me page on the website below. You contact me. I will get you in contact with somebody from my team at General RV. And Will, what will we get you? The best price in the country. In America. Absolutely. Will? Let's continue the video. All right. Check this out. Nice Thomas Paine theater seats in the living room. I mean, and look how oh, big they're this massaging space. heated too. Well, have a seat there. Okay. Will's a big guy. He's six yeah. three. Very nice. It's a big boy approved. Big boy approved. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Recline it. Oh, I think he's... it goes out, but there we go. Yeah. He still hangs off some, but still, I mean, you comfortable? Yeah. You got cup holders right there. It is heated in massage chairs and everything. Um, and it's directly across from the television. You got your TV right here. Okay. Storage underneath, Jensen DVD player. I, look, I like that actually. You can put like a PlayStation or something there. And do you know, We'll talk about that later. Okay. We, we will mention it later, but you make a great point. We got storage there, drawers here, and a little bit of storage right here. I'm going to keep this open so I don't forget. Okay. Finishing up over here, looks like we have like a little coat rack something. Wow, deep storage right there. Oh, yeah. And then Will, let's check out this bathroom. This bathroom is freaking nice. Look, just look how big the bathroom is. The shower is huge. I have plenty of space. Will, go on in. All right. Six foot three. Look at that. This is very good. This is a travel trailer and you yeah. have space. That's insane. And even, you know, if I was to shut the door, I'd, I'd have plenty of room. And then over here's your sink, medicine cabinet, Plenty of sink countertop space right there. That's amazing. You got some storage underneath there. Drawers right over here. And then we have just little nooks for like towels right there and everything. And well, look at this toilet placement. Does it look weird? Maybe a little. It does. And guess what? I'm fine with that because because it looks weird, it is at the perfect of prime pooping yeah, position angle. Doesn't get much better than that. I don't care. Listen, this isn't a piece of artwork. I don't care if it's catty corner and you know people who are like OCD who like need stuff straight. I don't care. I rather have the prime pooping position. Is it porcelain? Of course porcelain. it is. Well, of course it is. <laughs> this is a prime pooping position. Bing! And it's just great. And as great as it is, Will, and as nice as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like. First thing I absolutely love about this travel trailer is this whole bathroom. Will. Yeah. This it's bathroom, amazing. the sink, the shower, the toilet, everything is absolutely phenomenal and I love it. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I love. Two. This is kind of broad, but I just really like the attention to detail. I mean, 
you know, covering up your your um, breakers and fuses uh -huh. by a door. I mean, it just gives it that clean look. Not know? only that, I I, I love. Uh, oh yeah. Andrea calls it like the Euro look. I it's think it's like Art Deco. Oh. Art Deco. <laughs> you said it. Well, you said it. Um, yeah, no, it, it looks really good and nice, and it's just a clean, crisp look. It is. That's Very two, clean. and then number three is right here. Do you know why I like this, Will? Why? Because you said a PlayStation. PlayStation requires the remote yeah. that lines up with the wiring or whatever. I don't know. This you can have the PlayStation in there, yeah. and the signal will still go to it. I that's love that, cool. and that's something that people didn't think about. That was easy. Now, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this travel trailer. Will, do you want to go first? I can go first. I will go first. Okay. First thing I dislike, I do not like this dinette. I don't know what's going on over there. Those aren't real seats. Maybe for like a tiny little kid. I don't know. I feel like there was plenty of space here. They could have made it a proper U-shaped dinette. I, I don't know what they were doing there. So that's one. Two. Mine's on the outside. You want to go out? Or? Yeah. Okay. So I just feel like it's a little bit of a more upscale trailer. So I wish that they had put electric leveling jacks. Um, you know, it just makes it a little bit easier. It's that nice little touch. Like Matt said, it's not a big deal. Just get your drill. But, you know. Yeah, I mean, $37,000 MSRP. What's yep. 38, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so that's two. And then three, third dislike. I feel like, see, it's just tough. Why can't we do two things we like and two things we dislike? <laughs> okay, I think I found it. I think I found my third dislike. I don't like how this is a 30 amp travel trailer. Yeah. I know a lot of people in this competition are making it 50 amp. I'm okay with the one AC unit, but I wish it was 50 amp prepped for a second air conditioning unit and giving people the option because- yeah. If you're down in Florida for summer or- Or Arizona, you know, Arizona or somewhere, Texas. you know, two AC. Listen, nothing's wrong with the one AC unit, but again, having that option, I just think it would have been good. Well, Will, let's step outside. Okay. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this grand design, imagine, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell or go to my website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Again, if you're seriously interested in this trailer, uh, make sure you watch uh, the Two Crazy Ketos or the Two Crazy Campers YouTube channel because they have one of these and they're going to be vlogging about their life experience. And again, you want pricing? You contact me. I will contact somebody from my team to get you the best price in America. <laughs> will, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. I think just yesterday, didn't we pass 15,000? We did. So, depending on when this video views, well, but yeah, well, a couple that, days ago. That's because everybody heard you were joining the team well, well and, right? and so everybody subscribed. <laughs> Thanks. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Will. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.